Spoon, your action figure aficionado here, bringing you a review on a fairly uh, unknown line of Ghostbuster toys. This does fall into the real Ghostbusters line, part of the Kenner collection, as it was officially licensed by Kenner to another uh, foreign company based out of Argentina, which I believe is called uh, just Jaxa. But as you can see in the lower corners of the cards here, they do have uh, that logo. And they also have the Kenner logo. These are officially licensed and can be considered part of the collection. They are not bootlegs, although as licensed by this company, they are of a bit of a lesser quality in terms of blister packaging and overall design of the action figures. They were using original molds. But uh, this line is uh, particularly the water squirting Ghostbusters line. Uh, I really enjoy these toys because it wasn't a concept in the original Kenner line. And as you can see, all the cards base uh, a, a artwork here that is uh, similar on all the cards and is unique only to these. Jaxa did produce a couple other lines of Ghostbuster toys, but this one I really like because, like I said, it is unreleased in any other form with the water squirting concept here. Each toy came with a bullet in multiple colors. And I'll we'll go over here. You can see the Egon comes with, uh, this one has an orange, and the colors could range. It was just a random pack different colored molds, stuff like that. Uh, I believe my uh, my Peter Venkman and Ray might have the same color bullet. In these, the, uh, the line, I believe they're called Icer Ghosts, so we'll get more to that later. But I will showcase, uh, let's see here, I will uh, kinda take you in a little bit here just to see the molds, maybe even some of the original line molds, and it might even look like a Screaming Hero Ray face. The Proton Packs uniquely uh, changed to include a little water balloon at the end that you squeeze, and the Proton Stream is hollow, so the water will splash out and hit the ghost, which the ghost is made out of a color-changing plastic, uh, temperature-controlled, much like the Slimed Heroes Ghostbuster toys, where they would get the slime to look upon being squirted with water as well. Cold water, if I'm not mistaken. <clears throat> All right, let's just go around to the back here. Oh, just looking at this card back, uh, the pictures are blurry. Like I said, this everything here is a slightly lesser quality than the typical Ghostbuster toys, but is fun to collect and neat to have in your collection nonetheless. We will take you up here to show you just the back. Yeah, the Ice Ghost. Just gives you a description there on how to properly... Do that. Get him there. You can take a, just a look at the card back. Pretty standard for the toys. Uh, although uh, not all of these were produced under the Juxa license. Many have surfaced over the years. Some with some unique traits, coloration, stuff like that. Maybe we can cover some of those in a future review. Uh, copyright on these is actually 1992, showing that uh, they were, sorry, my collection here is a little dirty. They've been in storage for quite some time. They were produced uh, towards the end of the Ghostbusters craze. Uh, it at this point, it had pretty much phased out and been replaced completely in 1992 by Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles.
but just some overall neat neat things to be found across the world in licensed toys or even bootlegs if you're into collecting bootlegs well hopefully uh hopefully you enjoy just learning or seeing some of these toys you might have might not even known have existed or if you're a diehard fan you did know you might have them yourself i'm spoon your action figure aficionado and i'll catch you on my next review Thank you.